All right, guys, I hope you're ready for today's video because today I'm going to be sharing with you my YSL collection. Now, YSL, this is one of my favorite houses, especially, especially the Stefano Pilati era. Like, those designs are just absolute perfection. But I have amassed quite a few YSL bags over the years, and I think, I think you're gonna like seeing these. But before we dive in, though, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post lifestyle and luxury-related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, it, you know, hello, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership. We have an awesome, engaged community, Discord, members, meetups, extra perks, access, early access to new videos, like hello, it's kind of amazing, check it out. So when it comes to YSL, it, it's no secret, but some of my YSL bags are my most favorite bags in my collection. So I'm gonna start out with my most favorite bag from my YSL collection. We're gonna end with my most expensive bag from my YSL collection. And don't forget, for 2024, rather than doing one massive bag collection video, which I don't have the time for that, I have a lot of bags, you don't have the time to watch that, I'm breaking this up into houses. So make sure to check out my 2024 designer bag playlist. This is gonna host all of the videos from this series. Now let's dive in with number one, my YSL music. Too. So to kick it off, here is my most favorite YSL bag. This is the YSL Muse 2 in the size large. I've told this story a thousand times. I'm going to tell you again. I'm sorry. For those of you who are new, might appreciate it. But this is one of my most favorite bags in my collection. Now this is going up against Birkins. Some very beautiful rare bags. Like this this, this bag, you guys, is like quintessential Caleb Snell. I love this stupid thing. It is fabulous. I originally saw this at Nordstrom back in 2008 when this collection was released. I, I couldn't afford it at the time. I was in college. I was a broke little college boy. But now that I'm Older, I'm kind of like working on going back and buying up all of these bags that I missed out the first time around, and I am oh so glad that I got this one. The YSL Muse 2 collection, this is kind of a spinoff of the YSL Muse. So you have some of that Stefano Pilati modern minimalist hardware, and with this bag, it's actually just a canvas tote. It is literally just a canvas tote with panels of leather affixed to the canvas body. And the bottom of this bag, this has to be one of the neatest constructed bottoms of a bag I have ever seen. It literally has the leather rails coming out the bottom, the five feet, which are stamped YSL. This bag, you guys, is so freaking fabulous. If you haven't yet, pick one up because literally everyone who's watched my videos and told me they bought one all love theirs. This is one of the best underrated bags on the pre-owned market hands down. Now it, it should come as no surprise, but once upon a time I had a proclivity towards buying multiples. Like if I loved a bag, I had to have it in all the colors, all the finishes. Like that's just who I am. I am a collector at heart. And like I said, I love the YSL Muse 2, so I bought it again in Emerald. Now this bag, this bag, this bag is hands down one of my favorite colors. I love a good green bag with gold hardware. And I mean, come on, does this not just capture all of its beauty? This bag, you guys, it is absolutely stunning. Instead of just being a canvas body, this one is actually a suede body with again, the panels attached. And then of course, that quintessential YSL Muse 2 bottom with the rails and the five feet. I don't carry this one enough just because I'm a little scared of it. It is new buck and suede. So I'm like, ugh, here in Chicagoland, you, it, the weather could change literally in any minute. Like last week we had snow followed by tornadoes, followed by 70 degree weather the next day. You just never know what's gonna happen. So I don't carry this beauty out as much as I should, but but for 2024, I'm definitely gonna make more of an effort. Sadly, that kind of wraps up my Stefano Pilati era collection so far, but these next pieces, these are my newer pieces, and some of them are pretty good. So I kind of kicked off this new YSL collection with none other than everybody's favorite, the Uptown Pouch. Now this bag, you guys, it's super cute. It's good for dinner and not much else. Like I have carried the shopping before. It was kind of nice for that. This bag, this is the YSL Uptown Pouch. Originally it came in the YSL Uptown Tote. You could just like pull these out of the front pocket and kind of like a stow and go situation, if you will. And then YSL just started selling these standalone by themselves. I think, I want to say they're like still 550, 600 maybe. I don't remember. It's been a minute since I've looked. And this is my favorite colorway. This is that spectator style. You've got that beautiful British tan trim with the natural canvas. And this is like perfect for spring, summer, and it looks really good in fall as well. Pair it with linen, take it to lunch, take it to the resort. This bag, this bag comes in handy, I kid you not. Now I loved that Uptown pouch so much so, I bought it in the bigger size. So this again, it's the same Uptown pouch, just sized up. This one I've actually carried to work. This is perfect for when you just need to throw a few extra things in, throw it under your arm and go. Good for meetings, good for conferences, traveling, things like that. Now this one, this is done in like a nice shiny calfskin, almost like a box leather, but not quite as refined as my Aramaz box leather, but that's another story. This just like the other Uptown pouch just has the magnetic closure and it's really, it's, it's a great bag. Now this one was only sold, I believe at Saks Fifth Avenue 
Avenue here in the States and Selfridges in the UK. This wasn't available through YSL themselves. It might be a little bit harder to find these days, but I actually tracked mine down from Selfridges, ordered online. I think it was at my door within five days. So definitely check other websites in other countries just because, you know, sometimes you can get a great deal with fast shipping. And I mean, hello, my Uptown Pouch collection is complete. So the next three bags in this collection are all from the Reeve Droke, I think the gift collection. You can still find these online. They're about 65 USD, depending on the finish. I bought three. I know I went a little crazy. I went a little overboard. But up first, I have the VHS in the black colorway with the Sunrise. This one, I, I've carried quite a bit. It's, it's just nice and casual. You can like throw your wallet in there, run, go. Perfect for summer when you're just bumming around, have to run errands. You can throw some extra produce in there when you go to the farmer's market and things like that. But knowing me, I had to buy multiples. So I also bought the VHS in the white colorway with the Sunset. And this is probably my favorite, but I don't carry this one a whole lot just because, hello, big white tote. I'm afraid of getting it a little dirty. Speaking of dirty, next Next up I have the Scandal Print Tote, and this one is just covered in naked men. Like, hello, 100% my vibe, right? This one I haven't carried out yet, I'm just kind of waiting for like the right moment, the right outfit, the right setting, but one day I will carry this and it will be 100% a vibe. But like I said, check out the website because they have some really cool stuff in their gift collections. Now that brings us to the final bag from my YSL collection, and quite possibly one of my most expensive purchase brand new bags and least used bags in my collection, the Sade Clutch. <laughs> Guys, I fell head over heels in love with this bag when it first came out. Just like my original YSL Muse 2, Kate Moss was the model for this bag when it was announced. I just had to have it. So we were on a trip. It's actually one of my earlier videos here on YouTube. We were on a trip to Chicago because we hadn't moved here yet. And I saw it in the YSL boutique one night when we were scoping things out the night before. Ran to the store the next day, bought it. And I want to say it was it was just shy of 2000. Like it might've been like 17, 18, maybe 19. And I was just like, that was the most I'd ever spent on a bag, brand new, not so much pre-owned, but <laughs> it was, a hefty chunk of change. And ever since then, like, I love this bag, I do. It's made of lambskin, it's beautiful, it's minimally branded, interior is leather lined and calfskin. Like, it is a stunning bag. It's just very cumbersome to carry. And because it's that soft, soft lambskin, it kind of gets squishy and, and, and collapses a little bit and it gets really hot in your hands. So I can see maybe why they kind of discontinued the bag, but I absolutely do love it. And I don't think I'll ever sell it, but again, the right moment with the right outfit, this looks amazing. And that was my YSL collection. Again, pretty short, pretty sweet, to the point, which I think we can both appreciate. I saved me some time, I saved you some time. So of my collection, what would you say is your favorite bag? I think looking at all of these again, I'd probably have to say the Green Muse too, just because it is oh so good. But I wanna know, what was your favorite bag from this collection? Like I said, check out the 2024 designer bag playlist down in the description if you wanna see more. There's gonna be LV, Coach, Hermes, Burberry, Fendi, you name it, it's gonna be on that list. So go and check it out. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.